There is a moment in every key account manager's career when they shift from good to great. And that moment is often sparked by deep client insights. So let's ignite that transformation today with our focus on client discovery questions. It's your favorite cam coach, Warwick Brown. And in this, our second episode of our 10 part cam essentials toolkit series, bit of a mouthful. We're going to explore the art of crafting effective client discovery questionnaires to gain deep insights into your clients. So let's get started. Understanding your clients isn't just helpful, right? It's essential. It's going to allow you to develop in-depth insights into their needs, their goals, their challenges. It's going to help you uh, craft personalized strategies that resonate with their objectives. It'll help you build robust relationships that are based on trust and understanding and respect. It'll help you proactively address potential issues, which means you're going to you know, be able to pre uh, prevent, prevent, get it out, worry, prevent future problems. It's going to help you enhance your performance as a key account manager. But beware the pitfalls of inadequate discovery. Not doing enough homework might lead to misaligned strategies that don't meet with your client's needs. It's going to waste time. It's going to waste resources on solutions that don't fit. It's going to lead to frustrated clients who feel misunderstood. You may even damage relationships that are you know, difficult to then repair, and you're going to miss opportunities to differentiate yourself and deliver exceptional value. So let's get on to how do we craft this questionnaire, right? The discovery questions should be tailored to each client's unique needs, but there are some essential categories that you need to include. You want to understand their background, right? Learn about the client's company, their industry, the competitive landscape. You want to understand their goals. What are their long-term, their short-term objectives. Challenges, what are their biggest pain points and obstacles? Decision-making, who are the key decision-makers and how does that decision-making process work? Expectations, what do they expect from you and what do they expect from your company? I use a variety of question types such as open-ended, clarifying, probing and hypothetical. Open-ended questions allow the client to share their unique insights and perspectives while clarifying, probing and hypothetical questions can help you go deeper and uncover underlying needs and motivations. And make sure you write them down, right? Don't try and keep them in, you know, up in your noggin. So here's some tips for crafting effective questions. Be specific and avoid generic questions that can be answered with a quick Google search. Don't ask some stuff that you could find out on your own. Tailor your questions to the client's industry, their company size and unique situation. Ask follow-up questions to clarify responses and gain deeper insights and avoid leading questions that might bias the client's response. And be respectful of the client's time. Don't overwhelm them with too many questions. You know, just uh, you know, drip feed these questions and start with the most important ones you need to know the answers to first. So once you've drafted that questionnaire and listed the questions, it's time to schedule discovery meetings with your clients. So here's some tips for conducting them effectively. Set clear expectations and objectives. What do you want to achieve by the end of this meeting? Communicate this clearly to the client in advance and create a comfortable and welcoming environment. This is going to help the client feel more relaxed and open to sharing these insights. Use your questionnaire as a guide, but don't be afraid to go off script, right? If a particular topic arises that seems important, pursue it. The goal is to get your client talking and opening up. That's the priority, right? Now be an active listener. Pay attention to the client's verbal and nonverbal cues. Ask clarifying questions to ensure that you understand their perspectives. You know, uh, repeat back to them. And take detailed notes. That's going to help you capture the insights and review them later. And yeah, try and make it do, do better than me. Make your handwriting legible so you can read it later. So you've completed your discovery meetings. You've got to analyze those findings and translate them into strategies. So here are some tips. Review your notes and identify key themes and insights. So what, what are your clients most pressing needs and challenges? What are their goals and aspirations? How can your solutions help them achieve their objectives? And then you want to develop personalized strategies for each client. There is there's no one size fits all approach in key account management. I've learned that much in, in all these years. And communicate these back to the client. Don't do invisible work and make sure that they agree with your assessment and your insights and your recommendations. That's going to make sure that you're all on the same page and aligned moving forward. Well, look, that's it for part two of our Key Account Management Essentials Toolkit series. Got to come up with a catchier name. If you want to keep watching, check out some earlier episodes of the series and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.